Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how you can install Windows on your Apple Silicon Mac. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first step is you're going to want to go on your internet browser and type in Parallels Desktop like this. Once you have that, you're going to want to click on the first link. Once you're on the website, you'll have an option to buy it now or download the free trial. I'm going to hit download free trial so I can try it out. And that's what I'd recommend for you guys too, so you can see if you like it. I'll click on the blue download now button and you'll see it'll start downloading. And I'll close out your web browser. And go down to your downloads folder and click on the file. Now double click the install parallels desktop button and you'll see a pop up and then just hit open and then hit OK to this pop up message. And it'll start downloading now. Once you get this pop up, uncheck the box at the bottom here and then click accept. You'll now have to type in your Mac password that you use to sign in and then it'll begin installing Windows. Once you get this pop-up button you'll be asked to allow permissions. What you want to do is just hit OK to all the following prompts that pop up. Once you're done hit finish now we'll start up and here you can download Windows 11 click the install Windows button and now you should start the process of downloading Windows this all happens automatically and you won't even have to download a file for Windows this does it automatically Now you have to accept some more permissions, just click OK for these, and now you'll see that Windows is going to start up. Now you should be all set up, and it'll say that it's completed, and now you can launch right into Windows. As you can see, I'm still on Mac, and you can just close it if you want, or you can open it back up if you want. So you can drag these things to the trash, and now that's your uh, machine right there that you can launch Windows from. Now as you can see here, I'm installing Steam no problem, and you could also do this on Mac, but this will unlock all the games in your Steam library. Now as I click on all these games, you can see the install buttons there, and you can all install them and run them while on the Mac. Now you can also see that I have the Xbox app on here, which comes with Windows. And on here you can access all the Game Pass games right here. So if I click on all games, I'll show you the list that you can all run these on Windows, but on your Mac also. Now you can see here that I'm launching BMG Drive for a test game. And you can see when I launch the game, it starts up like any Windows laptop would do. Now as you can see we're launching BMG Drive no problem and you can like navigate through the menus no problem and I can load up a map or whatever I want to do. You all have like the games, the Windows laptop games or desktop PC games right on your MacBook now which you wouldn't be able to do before. If I try to do BMG Drive on just the Steam from Mac OS Steam, it wouldn't be there. Half the games, or way more than half, are not there. So, anyway, when I'm playing the game, it runs really smoothly. It's like 60 FPS at least. And you can see here I'm playing it. It looks really choppy, but that's because of um, OBS. So, basically, I have OBS installed on my Mac right now. And... It's recording from the Mac operating system, which makes it look really choppy. So that's why you're seeing this like 
not even like a frame per second it's like six seconds per frame but in real life when i'm viewing this game it's actually going in around 60 fps so it'll depend on your mac but it actually runs really good and you don't lose any performance of the mac when you're doing this way suggestion if you wanted to record your games while you're playing on mac is just to install obs on the windows operating system that would solve all the issues that I'm having where you can't record. And it might get a little bit better here, but it's still not going to be good. All right, but if you guys want to try this program, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download this from. But this is going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, leave a comment and consider liking and subscribing. Peace.